Hello, everybody. Welcome to the land of many bales. Look at all that. My goodness. That's just all field six right here. We still got field four to pick up, too. So, uh, the good news is we only need about 30 more. It's about all we can hold at the farm, so we're going to have a lot to sell. And we need to sell some because we're out of money. So, it is the fourth day of summer here, but it is almost over. We almost worked ourselves out of an episode here. I was having so much fun doing actual work here that I forgot to hit record, and it is now 4.30 in the afternoon, so... Um, I wasn't talking to myself or anything like that. I didn't think I was recording. I was just, uh, like I say, just mowing and finished the wheat field here, bailed everything. Had a lot of work done. Bought a lot of fields. We're in the potato business now, and uh, yeah, we got a lot going on, so... We sold the salt farm factory thing finally. Andrew had picked up and headed for the coast. He said he'd be back later. So we went ahead and sold that all the money that we made, which was considerable. We spent on fields and such. We did extend our mortgage. So we are further in the hole than we were before. But uh, yeah, that's all right. We got an ace in the hole, so we're not uh, not too worried about money just yet. Plus, we're going to sell some of these things. So I don't know what to do first. Should I pick up bales and sell them? Or should we go find some grass? Because, I'll tell you what, let's go mow some grass real quick. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Let's check the weather, as a matter of fact. Uh, yes, Thursday is just a little bit of precipitation, about a 60% chance, but not, you know, not a whole lot. But still, let's go ahead and get it mowed. Uh, we're just going to put this in the bunker. Uh, we're just looking for free grass, and while I was bailing some of these fields over here, I noticed that there's a lot of really good cuttable grass on the edges of uh, a couple of these fields. So Let's go back and see if we can steal maybe a loading wagon or two full of chaff for our bunker. Pretty good deal. Let's see, I think it was... Well, the sunflower field on our right here would be good, but the sunflowers are still in it. We don't want to tear the sunflowers up just to get a little bit of grass. You don't want to... Yeah, juice wouldn't be worth a squeeze on that. We'd have to get in there and I don't think we could fit, but it was not this field, but the next one, I think. We can make a couple laps, a lap around this one, a lap around the one below it. Yeah, it was right down here. Ooh. As a matter of fact, I know where we we're going to start. Oh, that reminds me. we got to turn traffic back on. Uh, there may or may not have been an incident involving multiple, multiple members of the town and myself. So we don't want to talk about that, but traffic had to be turned off so that we could uh, extricate ourselves from the situation. And yeah, now we'll turn traffic back on there. So we pretend like nothing happened. I don't know nothing. Y'all don't know nothing. It's all good. We're going to clear that right there. Awful close to my corn. I thought I had more room down here than that. Oh, oh we're not going to clear that one. I think we're okay. Now, if we can get through there with a loading wagon to pick it up, that will be a different story. Let's go right through the bushes there. How about that? Get a little brave. All right, so this is the field I noticed. Uh, I should be able to go all the way around this field. There should be a considerable amount of grass here. I'm thinking we're not going to worry about filling the... Uh, silage bunker up we're gonna maybe a hundred thousand liters is what we're shooting for there get it covered and let it ferment um, but yeah we're not we're not looking for a million liters half a million liters anything like that we're just you know that speaking of that I think we have a, a grass shortage we're gonna have to do something with some of our fields that we've purchased uh, we're not maybe not plant them all next year maybe put some grass in them so we really only have the one little field there we picked it up. I actually bailed half of it and picked half of it up. So 
We got about 21,000 liters of chaff out of it and about four hay bales, which is what, 16,000 liters of hay, so. Oh, crash. I'm pulling something. <laughs> Stopped us in our tracks. So, yeah, all right, let's see. We got um, got the sugar factory in. I'm anxious to get some sugar beets harvested. And we, like I say, we own a potato field now and potato equipment. And we also have a potato washer at the main farm there. So um, we are going to wash potatoes before we sell them. I think that's a pretty good deal. He said that's up to worth up to forty percent more. So that's that's enough math for me. I can I can do that math. That's a pretty good deal. Let's see where are we? Oh, we're all the way at the bottom. All right, so we need to come back down here if we make this pass. Actually, I know what we could do. We'll come down the other side. I think we can make it over there. We're gonna get yeah. But we might hit our hundred thousand goal here just by doing the edges of these fields. This is not a bad <laughs> bad yield out of this stuff. Not bad at all. So, all right. Like I say, I'm going to do this. We're going to steal some grass here this afternoon. I uh, don't know if we'll get it picked up today or tomorrow, but we're going to sell some bales. We got some things to do. Oh, we got some animals to take care of, I believe. Uh, now that Seasons is out for a console, yay! That's what I've been doing the last day is... I uh, played Seasons on Xbox just to check it out, and then I played Seasons on PlayStation just to check it out, so... Uh, <laughs> didn't didn't get a video out, didn't record any of it, but yeah, we were just playing just for the fun of it, so... Gotta do that every once in a while. But yeah, uh, like I say, everybody's on the same page now, so that's good. Seasons is here. Uh, if you like that sort of thing, I know some of you don't, that's alright. That's uh, I love that they, they made it where you can turn it off. I was... At one point, there was a rumor that it was going to be mandatory on FS19 that you have seasons on, and that's as much as I like seasons, I'm against that. We don't need to make it something you have to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if we should mow this. There's a lot of weeds in that. <coughs> Wouldn't be particularly good chaff, I don't believe. Hmm. I bet we can make a good pass down through here, though. All right, let's make one more pass here, and then I will uh, turn this off, and we'll go do something else. Maybe eventually today, maybe tomorrow. We shouldn't have a whole lot going on tomorrow. We've been so busy today. Um, maybe in the next episode, we can take a ride and see all the new lands that we've purchased. And uh, a couple of those fields are quite considerable. But, uh, yeah, like I say, not to worry, we have an ace in the hole. And don't believe money will be much of an issue, so. We do have uh, a couple deals with some factories that are going to be happening soon. We're working on the details now. Mr. Adrian is taking care of all that stuff. And, um,. Uh, yeah, so we will be getting... Look at that. That big empty spot over there. Looks weird, doesn't it? Let's take a ride over here. Lift the deck up. Um, we are going to be installing an apple and orange orchard where we can grow some fruits. We are going to put in a juice factory. And... To take care of all those things, uh, carton and pallet wise, we are going to put in a cardboard factory. So, uh, we have that little patch of farmland there and one of the fields that we purchased has some uh, good timber on it. So we're going to start making our own cardboard for the uh, ketchup, for the sugar, we'll make our own bags, and yeah, we're going to cut out the middleman, so we're going we're gonna to get into that business too. We'll need some logs and some wood chips for that. So some of this money from our ace in the hole here will have to go towards that. But so, oh, we're making money now, too. We uh starting to get a little reputation in town. Good reputation. People want to do business with us. So the uh, Dotson brothers here, 
have put in a bale still point, so that's pretty cool. Make good use of the land. They're uh, giving us a nice little monthly stipend, let's say. And, uh, yeah, we'll let them do some business here, so it'll help us out, too. We're going to do some business with them as well. Uh, Mr. Andrew, check it out. On your suggestion, you're right. You said uh, any self-respecting golf cart jockey would have a golf cart. So we went and got us a golf cart. It's got a winch on it. Check that thing out. That thing is pretty cool. It will fly, too, man. That thing will go. But this is why we're here. Look at what Mr. Andrew left us before he left. That is 10 full pallets of salt. So, like I say, we're not super worried about money just yet. We got some coming in. Oh, man, I can't wait. We are going to spend so much money. It's going to be fabulous. But we got the uh, sugar factory up and running, ready to go. Well, it's not up and running yet, but uh, it's, it's ready to go. Let's say that. There is sugar beet storage over there behind it. And, uh, yeah, like I say, very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Got a lot going on. So, let me go see if I can find any more grass. Maybe I'll even uh, pick a little bit up, or we'll come back and sell some bales. We'll do something, but I'll be right back. All right. So, we got everything cleaned up up here, equipment-wise. We got everything put away. We got a little bit of grass mowed. And, ooh, that's going to drag you. go this way then so we got one more field that we're going to need this header for so i figure instead of taking it back to oh goodness back to the main farm down there we may as well take it down near field number 28 and drop it off and hopefully tomorrow that thing will be ready it's it looks like it's ready to harvest now so it won't be long for sure let's see where are we i think we'll go this way would take us right down to it so we'll take this down, probably park it down behind the Heinz factory down there for now, just to keep it out of the way and keep it out of sight. My header looks like it's on there a little crooked, but it doesn't seem to be sliding, so hopefully we won't meet anybody. We're not slowing down for that one. Oh boy. Well, traffic was off again, but I see cars over there. Alright, so that's the field on our right that we're going to need to get. I think for now, what we're going to do, let's pull this back here and tuck it away. So, uh, another reason I wanted to come down here is because we need to go to see Mr. Eric at the shop. So, let's see, back that in there. Oops, not like that. All right, drop that off. Let's go see Mr. Eric. So, when we bought the place, it had the big Wilson Silver Star animal hauler, uh, you know, semi-trailer. I think it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It is quite a piece of equipment. But, oh gosh. Swerve. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's more than we need. I think we've used it once. Maybe, well, one of them, I think the sheep we had delivered. Uh no, we picked them up because it was we got a trailer loaded full. Either I mean we've only used it a couple of times. Let's let's say that doesn't matter. I'm sorry, jeez, I'm in everybody's way today. Um, so we've only used it a couple of times, and we don't really plan on using it that much in the future. Uh, we're not going to be needing it a whole lot. So, uh, Mr. Eric made us an offer on that. He has taken it on trade this used fifth wheel animal hauler right here so we are going to make sure we can hook up to it make sure everything works hopefully oh know about this hmm might have to take this home and test it out so it's a little lower than I would have liked right there it's a weird hitch um this is ours so when we bought the potato equipment, they threw in this old potato wagon with it. This thing was in shambles, and we brought it down to Mr. Eric, and he put a little bit of money in it and got it roadworthy for us. So we're going to need some new skins on it. Those aren't going to last very long right there, but 
He said it'll go and it's good enough to pull through a field and fill full fill of blah, 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 blah. Words are difficult sometimes. Uh, it's it's good enough to fill full of potatoes. So we'll have to come back and get that too. This is also ours. So I uh this one time I went to Minnesota to stay with these Looney Tunes and they had a sugar beet farm and they said if you want to be in the cool kids club you have to farm sugar beets at night with a light plant like this set up so uh turns out every field you drove by had one sitting in it so i figured hey we're part of the cool kids club right i could at least pretend like it if nobody else is here we'll uh we'll pretend like we're the only member so <laughs> we got us a night plant we're gonna night plant light plant we are gonna do some harvesting at night so that's yeah that's a good deal Let's see if we can drive around with this thing real quick. I don't know if uh, elevation changes are going to be good for us on this thing. I'd like for it to work. I mean... Uh, it's actually better than I thought. Let's see if we can get it home. Let's see what happens here. I like the trailer. It's nice. It's in great shape. Uh, haul plenty of animals. Almost as much as... I'd say it's a bright. Oh, <laughs> what do you suppose that was? There must be something there. I'm clipping something. Some kind of collision. I just couldn't see. Okay. All right. I think maybe it's the trailer getting stuck on the truck when I turn. All right, so I think we'll take this back to Mr. Eric. We're going to have to go a different route. As much as I wanted to do the fifth wheel thing. Yeah, it's definitely the when I turn. Just not going to work with this truck. We don't want to tear our truck up. I might be hitting on the, the ball there on the trailer hitch. Something's going on as soon as we get up to speed. So let's see here. We'll take this thing back. Um... We'll just have to uh, make more trips, I guess. Go with a smaller animal hauler. And like I say, we've we've already come to a, a deal with Mr. Eric there, and he's gonna wow, he's gonna offer us quite a bit of money for that Wilson Silver Star. So we're gonna take it, and we'll just have to figure out another way to move some animals around. Like I say, it's not like we're making animal trips every day now, so uh, you know. On the rare occasions we do need to move them, we'll just have to make two or three trips, so it'll be okay. But this, unfortunately, doesn't look like it's going to work, so let me take this back, um, talk to Mr. Eric, and see what else he's got or can get his hands on. Oh yeah, that was fun. Let's see, oh well, here, let's go ahead and do the deal for our trailer. We brought it down earlier. Sell $76,000. Yes, sir. We can buy many, many animal haulers for that. So, all right. Back to 81000 Let's see. Well, we'll take our light plant home. How about that? That's what we'll do. We can come back and talk to Mr. Eric later. It is 5.15 in the afternoon. Business can wait till tomorrow. We got other things to do. And come back and get her potato wagon too. I like that trailer. It's a cool looking little dude. So I like that. I like the wood boards on it. All right. Let's get this bad boy home. And uh, I'm going to switch. We'll jump in. I guess we'll jump in the 6 Series. I think it's already hooked to the bale trailer as a matter of fact. Excuse me. And we will go pick up some straw bales. That's what we are going to do this afternoon. So... This evening now, boy, it's 5.15. This day's getting away from us. Like I say, we had so much fun. We, uh, I looked up and it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I was like, oh, goodness, I haven't recorded a episode for this day yet. So, we got it in there now, though. We're going to get it done. Let me drop this off somewhere. I don't know where to put this thing. We'll figure that out in a minute. All right, yeah, like I say, that's already hooked up. Let's go get some straw bales. I tell you what, I am going to haul 30 bales really quick to finish off our stack over there. That's all that it will hold. And uh, 
something. I will get back to you when we're ready to sell some. Let's get back and make some money. So I'll be right back. All right. Well, I said it was the land of many bales. We weren't kidding. So we put 30 in our storage already. We have 110 stored. We are full at the farm. We have 24 on the trailer that we are going to take to uh, the barn um, sell point and sell. And we still have, I think I counted 44 left. So not quite two full trailer loads left to sell. So, yeah, we are floating in straw. And then we still have field 28 that is uh, a wheat field. That hopefully we'll be ready tomorrow and uh, we're gonna we're gonna put the straw down on that one and do the same thing on it too so let's take these up here we're gonna take one trailer do a little science experiment because it doesn't show up in the shop um, we're gonna take one trailer full to the barn cell point we're gonna take one to the Dodson Brothers new bale cell point so uh, we'll see which one is uh, more interested in being our friend Six series does not want to pull 24 bales up this hill, I tell you. That's why I went this way instead of getting on the road. We would be not making friends. She is struggling. All right. Oh, struggle bus was real on that one, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. We are going to. Uh, this way. Yeah. Couldn't remember where it was there for a second. We're going out here like we're. Oh. Well, we're just going to merge right in there and pretend like we meant to do that. So hopefully we can get, uh, you know, a couple grand off this trailer load would be fabulous. I don't know really what straw goes for on this map, but uh, if we could get that, it would definitely be worth our time. Oh, maybe I can grab those on the way back. I got to get those four hay bills up. I forgot about that. The season's on. We don't want those to start... Uh, you know, degrading, start rotting away. So, yeah, I definitely got to come and get those. I'm going to grab those on the way home. Uh, same goes for the grass that we cut. You can see all the way around the edges of these fields we did here. Uh, there, down there. So, like I say, it looks like a pretty good deal, but we got to pick it up so we don't want it to rot and, and all go away. I think we're going back here. Yep, there it is in the corner back there. Now, hopefully... I don't know where the box is, so I might have to do a little push in here. I don't want to get too close because if they don't sell, well, I can always pull forward. Let's see what happens here. That look about right. Nope. It does not look about right. Oh, wait. No, we just weren't. Like I said, I had to do a little pushing. Perfect. Oh, wow. Look at that. Over six thousand dollars. Well, that is certainly worth our time. We'll make another trip. Well, no, our next trip will be to the Dotson Brothers. So, uh, let's see who gets the the winner of this. We'll get the last, not quite full load. So, all right, cool. Six thousand dollars is great. That's a pretty good deal. We don't mind uh, doing a little extra work on our fields when we're full, anyways. Uh, might as well put it down, even though we don't need it. So. Pretty good price. I like that. All right. Whoa, gosh. What, what, looking down. Sorry. Quit, wasn't paying attention. Looking at my phone. That's what you get. Oh, I was going to drive right past these things again. But we'll run these down to the stack at the farm. Like I say, we are having a severe hay shortage. This grass doesn't look like it's going to be interested in growing um, for another cycle. It may may grow through the fall, I'm not sure, but not what we thought we were going to get off of it. So next year we're going to have to do something else when it comes to grass. Now, two of the fields that we bought, we bought for the purpose of um, putting in another little farmyard for us. So the, the potato field that we purchased and one beside it that we're going to alternate uh, potato fields with, we are... It's just as far away as we can get. So um, we're going to put in another little barn down there, store our potato, maybe even the sugar beet equipment down there, put our root crop stuff down there. And uh, it was a two-field purchase, Not neither one of them very big. So maybe we can do that on one field and uh, put a grass field on the other field so that we have more hay next year. We are definitely going to need it. So 
think we'll have enough to get through the winter as far as the sheep go. Um, fairly certain we have enough TMR made, excuse me, to get through the winter. But at the same time, I want to buy more cows. So I'm thinking maybe we'll get some beef cows to put in the uh, out, outer farmyard here, whatever this thing's called. I can't remember. Feeding pen, that's what it was. Oh, words, yeah, they get you. So yeah, I want to get maybe some beef cows to put in there. We'll have some hamburgers and steaks around this place to go with our bacon. Yeah, I don't know if we have enough DMR for that, so that's what we're thinking about. Um, yeah, that'll do it. All right, so we got what four bales in storage. You're gonna put four more in there. That's pretty, pretty pathetic looking hay pile we got here, especially when compared to the straw stack there. Yeah, let's see if that's good enough. I don't know if that's. In the boxes should be. Yep, there it goes. Perfect. I like that little bale storage. That's pretty neat. All right, let's see. Oh, we gotta go get another load and take to the Dotson Boys Bales Cell Point. Our newest uh, leases. Our uh, tenants, I guess they are. We get to be somebody's landlord. We'll ride. So. Yeah, making a little money on the business finally. So maybe we get some more businesses in on some properties, especially when we get the lots in across from the uh, animal dealer. Maybe that's going to be some prime location right there. We'll, we'll be able to entice some businesses to come with us there. So, man, it looks like more than 44, doesn't it? It just looks like a sea of them out there. But when you get 24 on this trailer, it really puts a dent in the field. And we'll go through them quick. thousand dollars how about that I can't believe that I figured you know three tops but uh, then again yeah like I say it is 24 bales that's a whole lot of them so I guess we're used to selling them uh, with the Ursus trailer <laughs> was it eight at a time yeah so I guess that makes sense we're doing three times as much Just a marvel of modern technology, isn't it? What a trailer. Look at the engineering that went into this thing. I bet you I could break one of these things in real life real quick. I bet it wouldn't take me an hour to break it. Hmm. Well, we should fill up really quick going back across here, shouldn't we? Oh. That was a poor approach. Uh, can we snag it? No, there we go. Yeah, I messed that all up. Let's try this again. Whoa. Yeah, let's go ahead and clear this out. I was going to kind of go top of the hill to the bottom of the hill, but maybe we'll just do this corner over here while we're here. Just so we don't miss any. We don't have to worry about coming back and collecting them. We don't have to worry about forgetting. Oh, in the trees. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Out of the way, Bill. Three more. Here we go. Anxious to see what we get at a dedicated bale sell point. You would hope the price would be a little higher there, but um, we had done some business with these boys on our Woodshire farm on that Jockey Inc. So I uh, just don't remember what the price was. I know we did sell quite a bit of bales there, though, so couldn't have been too bad, right? You wouldn't think. Uh, yeah, make sure I was going the right way. Not a very big town, but I still get turned around every once in a while. So this is our awesome sugar beet field right here. Look at that thing, huh? Man, are we going to get some beets out of that bad boy. 
That's why we got the light plant. We're going to be digging for days over there, I think. Hopefully this little 6 Series will pull the Roto Beater, the topper. Um, the plan is to run this through there, then have the 7 Series pulling the lifter behind it. So um, Maybe we ought to save us some money when we go to harvest, just in case we have to upgrade our tractor. Not sure we have just enough horsepower to do it, I believe. If we have to use the 7 for both items, that's going to slow us down a little bit, so... Who knows? We'll figure it out. Only one way to find out is when you get going, so... You can look at the numbers on paper all you want. It doesn't, it doesn't make it work. Four, five, six... Okay, so it's about the same, then. Yeah, about $6,300 either way. Nice. I guess we will do uh, probably the one at the top of the hill is closer there. It's at least on the back road going around there. So cool. All right. Well, I tell you what. We did sneak us an episode in this afternoon, and it's still not even six o'clock yet. So we got it done within an hour there. How about us? I don't know what I was rambling about that whole time. Your ears must hurt by now. So. Uh, let's uh, let's call it a day right there. We will come back for the fifth day of that will be late summer. First day of late summer. Fifth day of summer. Cool. That's where we're at. Hopefully, let's see. Field twenty-eight will be that field up there on our left. That is the last wheat field that we have to do, and last cereal crop in general that we have to do. So, hopefully, that thing will be ready to go tomorrow. But if not, we'll be on the sixth day. I'm sure. So. Cool, we got that going for us. That's what we're going to do. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.